In our last tutorial, we've seen how to install Rust and how to configure VS Code to use with Rust. And we also created a Hello World application, our first example. This time, we are going to do another example. It can also be seen as a Hello World, but related to our focus in this series of tutorials, which is audio. So this time, we are going to play back a WAV file using Rust and just a few lines of code. To do that, we are going to use a library, an audio playback library, that in Rust, libraries can also be called crates. And we are talking about this crate here, RODIO, RODIO. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but is this audio playback library. So what we're going to do, usually, to use such libraries, you don't need to clone from a GitHub repository. We are going to see how to use libraries in Rust. But for this time, we are just going to clone this repository because we are interested in these examples here, specifically this music wave.rs. So when we clone this repository, then we will have all this code in our local folder and we can work on it. Let's do it. First thing what I'm going to do is to go here to the Rust Audio RODIO RODIO and get here this link so we can clone into our local computer. Now I'm here on my terminal. I'm going to activate my Rust environment that we created last time. So now on my Rust environment, I'm going to move to my documents folder. And inside my documents folder, I'm going to git clone. And I will paste that link. Oh, I didn't install git in my Rust environment. So I'm going to do a conda install git. And let's clone again. So it's cloning into this folder rod.io. If I go here in my documents, and I see that now I have this folder with a lot of things inside. So we can move on to open the. Before I do this, just let's check. And it's good that I can show you something. Let's go inside the, this folder. And now what I will do is just to check. If everything is fine, is I will run an example. So cargo run example. And the name of this example is music wav. So it's doing some things. We are going to talk about Cargo Run later on during this series of tutorials, but for now, let's just check what's going on. It's compiling, it's building, downloaded some crates. So, we listen to this music from assets one of these files here we listen to this wave file that comes from this example so our system seems to be well configured but let's take a look on the code for this example so i'm opening vs code i'm already here on the music of dot rs and we see that we need very few lines of code to play back a WAV file. And the main idea of this library is that we have a string, so we get a handle to a default physical system, we have a sound file, we decode the, the sound file, and we can play it directly on the device. And we have this sync that makes it easier to control the playback, and this is what we are using here. We have here, we are calling this 
output stream and we're getting a handle and we try new we pass this handle to sync so now we have the sync we have a file so we're opening this music.wav and then we're appending this to a sync and then we're calling this sleep until ends that sleeps the current track until the sound ends so we were running from the terminal but we can also run from here let's run okay let's play something else so we can just change here this file let's see what they have here let's hear audacity 32 so we hear this beep now you can play back some audio files using this code here what we're going to do in the next tutorials is to first we'll take a look at some things that uh, we already used but we still don't understand how it works we'll talk about some rust module system some crates and cargo and then we will go line by line here we'll talk about function the main function talk about line by line of this code so we will understand what we are doing and on this process we are going to learn the Rust language using audio examples. So see you next time.